everybody, this is Kevin from Klotz Productions, and this is a deck tech of the deck that got fifth today at the sealed tournament. So, go ahead, Kyle. Howdy. All right. Ah, I was hoping to get some more allies, but I only got six, unfortunately, so we had to go with a red-black build, and it worked very effectively. I was a lot more shocked than how effective it was. Uh, we got eight swamps, seven mountains, and we have this tectonic edge. It was a 4-2 man land to start off with, but it just really wasn't cutting it at all. So, we just went ahead and did this tectonic edge, and it just got rid of other annoying man lands that just irritated me throughout the day. And we'll go ahead and we'll start with the artifacts, trusty machete, explorer scope, and, of course, the seers thing over there. It was nice when it got to the late game and I was starting to run out of cards in my hand. If I got that, it was great because then every time I drew a land, uh, I got another card. So, it helped me gain my card advantage over the opponents. And other things that got me card advantage over my opponents was the uh, Blood Rust. When it got to turn 5, it became really amazing because it was a discard 2, put a 2-2 two -two into play. And it, towards the end of the game, it really started destroying opponents. But that wasn't the MVP of the deck today. The MVP of the deck today will have to be... Where are you? Ah, Cunning Spark Mage here. And you throw that on the board, and if they don't have a removal, then all their one drops become useless. And if they don't lay a one drop at the end of their turn, you just hit them for one. So that was effective. And this guy was pretty amazing, too, because whenever he came out in the play, he shut the opponent down to where they didn't want to attack anymore. Because, well, they don't want to give me a 3-3 Ogre. Because when I come to, into play with this deck, I'm usually throwing five twos at him. So they're kind of wanting to sit back and block. So the last thing they want to do is when they sacrifice one of their creatures to my one guy, they don't want to get, let this guy come in to play and give, him, give me three three ogres. And another thing that was amazing was Mark of Mutiny with all my kill spells. I sling a creature of theirs at them and then I freaking kill it with one of my many kill spells here. And where is it? Oh, Dread Reckoning. Or Dead Reckoning, my bad. It was amazing too because I have this 5-2 guy here, whenever it died, because a 3-3 three, three wanted to block it to get rid of it, then if they have a 4-4 four, four or a 5 defense creature out, well, I play Dread Re Dead Reckoning, bring it back, put it top on top of my library, and then I kill their creature, which is basically a 2 for 1, because I'm going to get my creature back, and I guarantee my next card on top of my library is really good. And it's also nice doing it with a Malcare Gatekeeper as well, because... You get the gatekeeper back, you get to make them sack another guy, and you also remove one of their two defense guys as well. Overall, it did pretty well. Torchlinger was average. Sometimes it was annoying because it's like, oh, I want to do more than two damage to the creature. And, of course, Magma Rift helped occasionally for that extra removal. The only thing that I really didn't really like about this deck was getting hideous in, and all they played was black creatures on the field, which was kind of irritating as well. But it eventually got over. The enchanted lands are amazing because whenever you need a land or a 3-3 blocker, it's great. Now the main lands are there. And of course, Marb Light in combination with the uh, Kind Spark Mage is an instant kill on any of their creatures. I didn't really see a lot of Shroud today, surprisingly. That's what I was figuring I was going to get whooped by. And, of course, if I'm still hanging around in the game and I have 7 mana, I throw out the uh, big 5-5 five five that kills all their guys, and it just pretty much ends the game because they're usually spot removing my 3-2s and my 5-2s, my 5-4 big guy, and my cunning spark mage. So they usually waste all their removal on those guys, and when that guy comes into play, they just don't have anything left for it. And another thing that's pretty amazing that I comboed off pretty well was I played one of those uh, enchanted lands and I put it on Tectonic Edge. 
And uh, if they have a man lane coming to play, well, if I decide that I don't like that man lane, I could sacrifice it using Tectonic's Edge ability, but then I get to return it to my hand because I have the Enchanted thing on there as well. So I get two Tectonic Edges, so they can get rid of two of those annoying man lanes that I don't like. And that was pretty much how I did it. Uh, the deck got there. It lost pretty badly to a black and blue deck. Just kept bouncing my guys, which you would think that wouldn't be irritating, but it can be very irritating when they're shooting you with 3-3s three as well. And that's my deck, and I got fifth place.